Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing well. I was just in a mood to prepare breakfast on a weekend. So I woke up early than usual and started preparing before all wake up. French toast is a very traditional evening snack we prepare for ourselves or serve for our guest. But this time, as I wanted to have something sweet for breakfast, prepared the French toast and few other. I end up with so much of the egg mixture and make a lot. So I thought to break in one egg at a time and add in the rest of the ingredients accordingly. For one egg, I added less than quarter cup sugar and a pinch of salt. Whisk that well and then poured a glug of milk. My family doesn't enjoy the flavors of cardamom or cinnamon. So skipping those for today. And I didn't have vanilla essence as well. Always wanted to make French toast with a thick slice of bread. So I bought this loaf from Lulu on the previous day shopping. The first part is for me as all prefer the rest. I'm soaking this in the mix for 2 minutes just that the bread is well coated with egg mixture. Melt some butter and then place the bread. Keep on low flame and let it turn crispy. If you keep on high flame, the egg will burn and it won't taste good. Meanwhile, making more of the mix for the rest of the bread slices but each at a time. Cooking is sometimes stressful when I have no time. So to make it relaxing, I make sure to wake up way more earlier than I do to have enough time to do it in a calm way. Rehan had been complaining that I'm preparing only Kerala dishes for breakfast and he wanted something different. And if something different, it would be pasta most of the time. So today was a change. Along with the sweet breads were some savory cheese sausages. Gave some slits on each, shallow fried in some olive oil. Sprinkling some crushed black pepper. And this is optional but tastes good. That's garlic bread again from the store. Arranging everything in each plate to serve for each of us. It's always better this way rather than serving each dish in different plates. Takes more time later for cleaning. But it looks better that way. 
and if more dishes then each one could choose accordingly drizzle some balsamic vinegar over the lettuce place tiny nutella bottles for kids in case they want it and that's never a choice for them they want it or not it will be emptied this is the main reason why i don't buy a big jar of nutella often because it doesn't stay for more than a day or two time for our breakfast It's always refreshing to have a meal together and this happens mostly on weekends. Do let me know how you spend your weekends or even other days with your family or friends. Even if you stay alone, do share how you spend your me time for relaxing your soul. While I was changing the sheets of our master bedroom, the routine I follow each week, I took out a fitted sheet bought from IKEA recently. It's a floral print and I'm very obsessed with floral prints. So for the duvet, I chose plain one without any prints on it. It's a tough task to put the duvets into the duvet cover, but once it goes in, it looks like a very comfortable layer put on the bed. However hard it's to work, the end result is satisfying. For the cushions, wanted a printed one. The one I have is put for washing and the rest was all plain. It's been a very long time ever since I did some painting on fabrics. So it was time for one. and this idea was quick i took out the red cushion covers and had no designs in my head to apply on the cloth anyways took out the brush and the paint that i had that would go well with the color i ironed the covers and then started to work on it it was a random design that came into my mind place some paper in between so that the paint doesn't go to the other side of the cover doing it only on one side i took out the golden yellow color i had and drew some leaf shapes drew few big ones and then continue to smaller prints to finish it give some shading of black That was the finished look. For the second cover, I used a compass and made some semicircle designs. Drew the outline with black color. Just below the black, used the golden yellow color to give a finishing. Shaded the corners with black. 
and there is the finished look. After the paint is fully dry, iron it and wash the cushion covers to ensure that the paint remains forever. So there it is. So we are planning to change our apartment and here's a glimpse of the empty apartment. Shifting is a tough job. Not sure if my next video will be the shifting or not. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed watching today's video. Stay tuned for another one. Take care. Bye-bye.